London tube strikes called off as more pay talks planned. So in a recent video that I posted, now it's an update on Sunday, strikes by London Underground that would have crippled tube services this week have been suspended. The RMT Union has announced just half an hour ago. Little or no service was expected across the capital's entire network from Sunday evening to Friday morning. Members of the RMT union have previously voted to take industrial action over a below inflation pay increase of 5%. The union said positive discussions mean further talks that could take place. So the 5% offer that was described by the TFL was the most that they could have thrown, have mentioned. However, sources have mentioned to the BBC London that more money was now on the table and pay talks would be reopened. The RMT General Secretary Mick Lynch said following further positive discussion today, the negotiations on a pay deal for London Underground members can now take place on an improved basis and mandate with significant further funding for a settlement being made available. He described it as a significant improvement an improved funding position which meant scheduled strikes action would be suspended with immediate effect so now we're looking at no more strikes for the next week since they are still discussing what they can do they are still looking forward on getting in urgent negotiations with EFL in order to develop a sustainable agreement and a resolution to the dispute he mentioned now this is extremely unusual because I've never, rem I can't remember strikes being called off at such a late stage because it was supposed to start at 5.30 on Sunday, which is today. What has happened is the mayor of London and his team got more involved over the weekend, apparently, and extra money has been found. So sources have told the BBC News that it is in the region of £30 million. It does leave some potential problems to all for TFL transport bosses, which have mentioned that 5% pay rises have been offered as a final and full. Now apparently it's not. So this could impact the credibility in any further negotiations. Also, other unions like Aslef has already agreed to 5% extra on representative that has told it will not be accepted now apparently. And so this could open a real can of worms apparently. There will be still some disruption into Monday as the suspension of action has happened so late in the day so it's worth check before heading to the tube. The mayor was delighted that the strikes have been called off. He also mentions that they would have caused a huge disruption for Londoners and have been a major blow to the capital business and the worst possible time. This shows what can be achieved by engaging and working with trade unions and transport staff rather than working against them. So UK hospitality had warned that the strike was expected to cost the sector up to 50 million pounds in revenues only tomorrow morning and they have limited service Still. However, we need to sit tomorrow and we need to check before traveling. At least this has been cancelled, so no more than five days, because that was never planned. And that could have impacted everything so badly that trains would have been overcrowded and buses would have had so much devastating impact on everything. They've cancelled, or hopefully for the best. Maybe I'll keep you updated what happens and how much they agree to the increase in pay rises. Now, nonetheless, you take care and have a safe journey. See ya.